is no secret scammers are everywhere when it comes to looking for rental properties online, but it is rare that you ever hear about someone actually getting arrested for doing it. That's what happened though in Henry County, where deputies say a woman took a house for sale and advertised it as her own rental property on Facebook. News 2's Nikki McGee has more from a victim who paid to apply. Parish resident Melissa Bennett is accused of trying to make money off of a home that wasn't even hers. This two bedroom house on Highway 69 North really is for sale, but for Heather Levake, scrolling through Facebook, it looked like a beacon of hope with a rent price that could have saved her $400 a month. This seemed a little bit different because it had a phone number on it and um, there was pictures of the inside of the house. It just, it seemed more real to me. And at first, everything seemed to be going well. They sent me a link to my email to fill out the application, and I clicked on the link. They had a spot where you upload your ID and everything. And also a spot to make a $60 application fee, which Heather paid. However, after being asked for the first month's rent without being able to see the property, Heather took the hint. It made me sick to my stomach that I had already sent someone money for no reason. It's a scam realtor Hayden Smith in East Tennessee is all too familiar with. Last April, he got a call from a very angry tenant trying to move in to one of his listings. She called me and was like, hey, you know, can you come get your sign out of my yard? And I was like, hey, you know, with, with all due respect, I don't I don't know who you are. He's glad to hear about an actual arrest as the victim in his case is still out $1,500. The lady that got scammed here actually filled out the whole thing, gave her a social, social security number um, and everything to this person. And we still have no clue who that person is. Um, we just know that they're overseas. Smith says rental scams are on the rise in Tennessee with so many people moving here. He warns everyone to always view listings in person, don't give out too much personal info online, and for agents, drive by your listings frequently. Nikki McGee, News 2. Smith says he's seen scammers go as far as picking locks on his brokerage's listings to let people inside. He explains if someone actually moved in for more than 24 hours, the agent would have to go through the eviction process in order to get them out.